Hi to all of you. Welcome back to the series of biosignaling lectures. This is the ninth and the last lecture of the series. And in this lecture, we'll be discussing leptin signaling, uh, leptin as a hormone and how it mediates its action through its receptors present in the hypothalamus. And then finally, we'll be discussing um, its role versus the ghrelin and how they regulate the appetite in humans. Leptin hormone is a specific and specialized kind of a hormone which is not produced by any kind of an endocrine um, gland. It is uh, rather uh, secreted and produced in adipose tissues in proportional to their fat stores in the body and its circulation is directly proportional to the amount of fat stored in the uh, adipose tissue. It is released from the adipose tissue as peptide so it is a special kind of an hormone which gives us the uh, energy content and energy repletion of a uh, cell or as an organ in the body. It is actually a 16 kilodaltern protein, uh, a single polypeptide in nature, which is encoded by a specific gene present in these cells. That gene is called as obese or uh, lep gene, uh, and it is present in chromosome 7. So leptin uh, in its uh, unique nature is actually able to communicate uh, to the central nervous system the state of body energy repletion. So when body is in a well-fed state, uh, leptin concentration is higher and in proportion to the stored uh, fat reserves in the adipose tissue, it will um, be able to uh, order the suppression of the food intake uh, and permit energy expenditure in a higher rate to the central nervous system via hypothalamus um, control uh, center. And when uh, body is in a high energy repleted state, uh, it will undergo reproduction tissue remodeling as well as the repair of the endocrine and immune system and so on and so forth. So leptin has a diverse uh, function in the body. And it exerts its action uh, with the help of uh, binding to a certain receptors which are specific to it, which are called as leptin receptors. They are present on the surface of the cell expressed uh, outside on the surface of the cell to which uh, the uh, leptin binds and the cell responses uh, after um, the formation of the leptin uh, receptor complex. These uh, receptors are present uh, in the, uh, all the cells uh, all around the uh, systems of the human body. They can be present in the neural and hepatic, pancreatic, uh, cardiac and perivascular intestinal tissues as well. But the most varied and the most diverse uh, function of it is via controlling uh, through the uh, hypothalamic uh, satiety control system. So if there is a mutation in the leptin or leptin receptor, it uh, will result in the increased food uh, intake in combination with the reduced energy expenditure, which will be uh, explained uh, in the slides to come. Uh, so it will uh, cause dysregulation of the energy repletion uh, and um, in uh, two of the extreme cases can lead to obesity or anorexia. Leptin receptors uh, belong to a glycoprotein 130 family of cytokine receptors and they comprise of six different kinds of isoforms. All of these isoforms are the products of the single LEPR gene or OB gene which um, I had already told you. Uh, depending upon their structural integrity and structural form, they are of six distinct forms which are LRA to LRF. A, B, C, D, E, F, or depending upon the chain structure, they can be of uh, three forms that is secreted, short and long. Uh, out of all these uh, leptin receptors which uh, through which the leptin mediates its uh, signaling, the important and the abundant one is the uh, leptin LRB uh, isoform. This isoform has three uh, functional domains as you can see on the left hand side of the picture that is extracellular uh, ligand binding domain which is facing outside the cell then single transmembrane domain which moves right through the uh, 
plasma membrane and uh, uh, another domain the third one is the intracellular domain which is called a cytoplasmic signaling domain this is the domain which is um, uh, abundant in tyrosine residues which when activated undergo phosphorylation at uh, critical residues as you can see in the picture the critical ones are the 985 1077 and 1138 residues and after the critical phosphorylation of these uh, tyrosine residues it undergoes activation and the mediation of the cell signaling happens downwards with the help of downward signaling proteins so many of the effects of the leptin results from the action of uh, the leptin signaling in the central nervous system particularly in hypothalamus uh, where uh, lrb uh, expression is very high and this expression and is uh, on the surface of the specific nuclei like that of arcuate nuclei is high which will be uh, responsive to uh, leptin uh, secreted by the adipose tissues so adipose tissue mediates its uh, feedback mechanism via leptin receptors on the hypothalamic nuclei and tells uh, the central nervous system what is the state of uh, energy uh, repletion in the uh, body the main signaling pathway for the lr activation and leptin signaling is actually jack stat pathway janus kinase and uh, stat pathway so when leptin binds to the uh, its receptor it causes the dimerization first the dimerization means that two uh, single uh, polypeptides of the receptors come close to each other similar to that of the insulin receptor and this dimerization then leads to the activation of the uh, intrinsic phosphorylating capability which causes the autophosphorylation in the cytoplasmic domain of the receptor specific at the certain residues which are uh, the do, uh, docking sites for the downstream proteins as I have already told you those are tyrosine 985 tyrosine 1077 and tyrosine 1138 these tyrosines in turn when phosphorylated cause the activation of the downstream proteins the specific of them are the uh, ERK SOC S3 protein SHP2 uh, proteins which is also called as GRB2 protein uh, and also stats stat 5 and stat 3 the function of uh, shp uh, containing domain or the grb2 domain is to participate in the erk signaling and the function of the stat 3 uh, is to activate the uh, certain transcription factors or to act as a certain transcription factor directly to mediate the uh, primary response to the leptin by expression of the number of kinds of genes so stat is directly acting as a transcriptional activator whereas the shp domain or soc domain containing proteins will uh, function in activating the erk signaling the function of stat 5 is mediated uh, through certain diffuse signaling which is not yet determined so these are the different kinds of uh, affected proteins which are under the effect of the leptin uh, via jag stat pathway In hypothalamus or LRB leptin receptor beta isoform expression is varied and in 5 nucleate has been shown to be expressed uh, on the cells. Uh, the important one is the arcuate one which responds to the leptin much more avidly and much more quickly uh, to regulate the appetite stimulation or appetite suppression and hence uh, mediate the energy expenditure or energy um, storage. So LRB action on the arcuate nuclei is very uh, well characterized and it occurs uh, with the help of two different kinds of nuclei. One nuclei population is the one which responds by uh, synthesizing the two kinds of peptides which are appetite stimulating. Those are neuropeptide Y and agouti related peptide. And another uh, arcuate kind of nuclei uh, which secrete uh, the uh, different kind of an hormone which is pro opio melanocotin this is antagonistic to the neuropeptide y and ogt related peptide but both of them work concomitantly to regulate the appetite uh, within the cell in response to the leptin uh, presence or absence so out of these hormones uh, and the response to the leptin neuropeptide y is one of the important which is secreted by the arcuate nuclei in response to the body energy repletion via 
leptin signaling. Uh, it's actually orexigenic. Uh, it functions to uh, cause uh, increased uh, appetite in, in the human body when it is secreted by the RQA nuclei. And it is uh, to be expressed only when the energy levels of the body fall. That in turn means when uh, body is in a repleted state, it is a well-fed state, the body energy stores and fat stores are higher and leptin concentration in the body will be higher. When leptin concentration in the body is higher, it causes a feedback inhibition of the secretion of the neuropeptide Y and uh, ergoti related peptide. So the neurons which respond to the leptin will be under the influence of the inhibition and uh, there will be a lesser and lesser expression and secretion of these neuropeptide Y and uh, ergoti related peptide in response to the leptin uh, in a well fed state. So the consequently we will be uh, able to say that when leptin is uh, secreted in a well fed state, it will relay the information to the brain that there is a uh, satiety and there is a repletion and we don't need an uh, more and more uh, orexigenic peptides to be secreted by the uh, this uh, arcuate nuclei. When arcuate nuclei uh, will uh, actually function uh, to decrease the uh, excretion and production and excretion of the uh, neuropeptide Y and ergoti uh, related uh, peptides. So consequently, leptin signaling the brain uh, will be that the body has enough of the energy, enough of uh, the things and it is feeling the satiety and we don't need to eat more. This is the signal which is mediated by the leptin to the uh, arcuate nuclei, uh, particularly those arcuate nuclei which are secreting the orexigenic uh, hormones. So the relation is that leptin signals to inhibit the excretion and uh, secretion of the orexigenic hormones. So leptin will sort of uh, in these uh, conditions will decrease the synthesis and the circulating uh, levels of the orexigenic peptides. So in the second uh, arm of this uh, signaling is the uh, alpha melanocyte uh, stimulating hormone which is actually produced from the POMC by the another arm of the arcuate nuclei in response to the leptin signaling. POMC uh, is actually uh, the one which produces the alpha MSH uh, which in turn will function as anorexic uh, and hence it will signal the brain to have decreased appetite. This effect is coupled with the effect of the absence of the neuropeptide Y. As you can see in the right hand side of the picture, the leptin signaling is the inhibition uh, to the uh, AG, RP and NPY uh, arcuate nuclei, while on the same time it can cause a positive effect on the POMC. So the two arms work concomitantly with each other either to regulate uh, the higher uh, appetite or to regulate the decreased appetite. When neuropeptide is, Y is not uh, secreted, there will be a decreased appetite. When neuropeptide Y will be secreted, there will be increased appetite. Similarly, uh, the when POMC is uh, secreted, it, there, it will uh, lead to a decreased ap appetite. When POMC is not secreted it will lead to an increased appetite. So the two neuropeptide Y versus POMC will uh, function as a uh, mechanism uh, opposing to each other but the effect will be the same. We will be discussing it further so that it will be clear in the next slides to come. So the regulation of the hunger is mediated by this leptin via uh, activation and inhibition of the two different arms of the arcuate nuclei, whether those are the neuropeptide Y secreting ones or the POMC1 secreting ones. But uh, in uh, at a particular certain time, only one of the nuclei are activated, other is deactivated at a particular time. For example, when we are in a well-fed state, leptin will cause the inhibition of the neuropeptide Y secretion, but it will cause the activation of the POMC and vice versa. And you can see this uh, effect uh, via um, leptin uh, in this diagram where leptin will function via OBR uh, receptors and mediate its function of uh, decreasing the appetite. And uh, in turn, there is another story uh, of the hormone which is secreted by the stomach which is called as ghrelin. Ghrelin functions in uh, opposite direction to that of the leptin. Wherever leptin has a function of decreasing the appetite, ghrelin has the function uh, of increasing the appetite by mediating through its own receptor that is called as ghrelin receptor. 
all of these uh, stories happen in the hypothalamus particularly in the arcuate nuclei and so we call them as hunger games so we will be focusing more on a leptin signaling here because leptin mediation is through neuropeptide y secretion or neuropeptide y inhibition so when we talk about uh, leptin in context to the ghrelin and how it mediates the hunger uh, leptin as we already know is can be told as the appetite suppressor now what happens for the leptide is that it will prevent the uh, secretion of the orexigenic hormones and it will be itself behaving as the anorexigenic one this hormone is uh, we already know produced by the fat tissues and it is uh, concentration is directly proportional to it and it will bind to the hypothalamus arcuate nuclei receptors uh, ob receptors and mediate its function it functions uh, to tell the brain that uh, we are fully satiated we are uh, repleted with energy we are in a well fed state so in turn in a well fed state it will mediate the function of preventing the further intake of food and will also regulate uh, quick energy expenditure how uh, leptin uh, signals uh, and mediates its uh, function as an uh, anorexigenic hormone in itself and preventing the secretion of the neuropeptide y or uh, ogt related peptide can be uh, seen and uh, discussed in the two panels as you can see so what happens downstream in the arcuate nuclei uh, arm which is the npy agrp arm or the agrp neurons which secrete the npy or agrp which are known to be the uh, orexigenic uh, peptides is that leptin in response to the uh, energy repleted state which is a high fat mass state the leptin concentration will be high it will go to the hypothalamus uh, neuropeptide y a g r p neurons and will cause the inhibition the action uh, of the leptin signaling to the hypothalamus is to cause the inhibition of these neurons when there will be an inhibition of these neurons there will be a less expression and excretion of these uh, orexigenic uh, peptides and hence there will be a decrease in the food intake in a in a same time uh, it will cause the another arm of these arcuate nuclei which is pomc neurons to cause activation which in turn will produce more and more of the alpha msh which in turn will cause the same effect of decreased food intake and if there is a dysregulation in the both the signals then it will cause them further uh, food uh, lower lowering of the food intake than the normal and the uh, prevention will lead to uh, anorexia so the overall effect of leptin mediated through uh, arcuate is to uh, inhibit the arcuate nuclei one arm which is npy arm and to activate the another arm of the arcuate nuclei which is pomc and both will uh, concomitantly function to decrease the food intake uh, which will uh, lead to the anorexia if dysregulated so prevention of food ingestion is the primary function of leptin uh, to mediate via through arcuate nuclei during the starving phase of the body uh, the downstream signaling for the leptin uh, acts in a opposite direction than what we just went through in the starving state as we know that energy will be very much low and hence the storage form of the energy which is the fat will be very low which will lead to the decreased concentration of the leptin in the blood and hence this decreased concentration will be felt by the uh, arcuate nuclei present in the hypothalamus this will cause the activation of the neuropeptide y neurons which will lead to production of more and more uh, this uh, orexigenic peptides these orexigenic peptides will in turn cause the uh, increased food intake similarly uh, in the another arm there will be an inhibition which is quite opposite during the well fed state uh, so inhibition will cause decreased production of the msh which in turn will cause increased food intake as well so both of these arm will function to in increase the food intake to increase the uh, energy intake and lead to the 
finally to the energy repletion state if there is any dysregulation there will be a more and more food intake than the normal which can lead to obesity so these two arms uh, function well within the uh, confines of the leptin signaling during the well-fed state or in the starved state and hence will be uh, regulated accordingly so during the well-fed state the neuropeptide Y will be uh, prevented uh, from being secreted uh, from these arcuate nuclei and during the starved state neuropeptide Y will be activated to cause the more and more um, expression as well as the release of the neuropeptide in the blood. So this is how uh, leptin signaling uh, works in the hypothalamus in controlling the satiety and energy repletion. So far, we discussed the leptin and its role in controlling the satiety and energy repletion, which is actually only a half of the uh, Hunger Game stories in control uh, in the hypothalamus and arcuate nuclei. The another part of the story uh, and the another uh, part of the shoes are being filled by the ghrelin uh, hormone. This is a special hormone which is uh, synthesized by uh, stomach walls in response to their emptiness. Uh, and it's actually appetite stimulator and orexigenic in nature. Its levels increase before the meals and uh, it functions in opposite to that of the leptin signaling in telling the hypothalamus, uh, specifically or create nuclei of the hypothalamus, that the energy uh, levels of the body are decreased or they are depleting. And when this happens, the hunger will increase and hence the ghrelin concentration will also increase which is concomitant to the decrease uh, in the uh, fat stores. So ghrelin will be secreted and it will overcome the uh, signal uh, by the leptin. And uh, by overcoming this, it will tell the brain that uh, the uh, energy uh, state of a cell is depleted and hence it will uh, cause more and more hunger. And hence uh, it's called as hunger hormone. So the uh, hypothalamus receptors to it, uh, to the ghrelin will be uh, functional and they will tell the brain that there is a need of uh, immediate need of taking the meal or immediate need of uh, increasing the food uh, intake. So it works opposite to that of the effect of the leptin. So ghrelin is uh, also associated with certain kinds of uh, addictive drug um, signalings uh, like that of the alcohol and is also associated with certain food cravings like that of craving for the um, uh, chocolates or sugars. All these uh, signals work through the mediation by ghrelin. So a quick overview of the leptin signaling is that leptin when secreted by the fatty cells will go to the arcuate nuclei or wherever the leptin receptors are present. It will bind to the LRB receptors which are the most abundant ones uh, and they are the class 1 cytokine receptors and they will undergo dimerization and then autophosphorylation which is uh, mediated through their own uh, phosphorylating uh, capability and there will be a phosphorylation of uh, specific uh, tyrosine residues which are shown in the picture like that of tyrosine 985, 1077 and 1138 which in turn will function as docking sites for different kinds of proteins specifically SOS3 uh, GRB2 containing protein which is mediated through SHP2 and STATs stat 3 and 5 which will mediate the function the grb2 and sauce will uh, cause the erk uh, activation uh, erk enzyme activations and which in turn will lead to the activation of the uh, mtor pathway also and uh, some of the stats specifically the stat 3 will function as the uh, transcriptional activator in the dimeric form which i have already uh, covered in the receptor tyrosine kinase uh, activity as well and it in turn will cause the uh, transcriptional activation of the certain kinds of genes uh, which mediates the functioning and the response to the leptin which uh, particularly is the uh, <coughs> growth uh, and development as well as the regulation of the mediation of this signaling particularly the phosphorylation of tyrosine 1138 is important for the recruitment of uh, STAT 3 and 5 and LRB uh, JAK2 kinase uh, activation. 
so we come to the end of this uh, biosignaling series of lectures uh, um, i hope you enjoyed it you can visit my amazon page for the books on biochemistry molecular biology and signalings as well and do subscribe to my channel uh, for further uh, videos which i will upload in due time